But I think I've been kind of cutting off here and there what you've been saying. But the ideal thing is, is Wait, that when you- Wait, you cutting me off? No. <laughs> I mean, cutting off, I'm not like I stopped listening. I cut <laughs> out of the conversation. <laughs> Hello and good morning everyone. Welcome back. We are starting this week out to the very gloomy rainy day, but do you know what? This rain, because it's warm enough to rain, it is melting the snow, which hip hip hooray, I am glad for that. You can see it's Valentine's Day. I feel like I'm always in here showing this bunting and it's just the best reminder that Valentine's Day is coming up. I'm really excited because that means the next holiday comes and the next one comes and that means it's almost spring. I can hardly wait. I hope we don't have snow too much more in our future. I know that the mountains here in Utah get pounded with snow this time of year. And this is really the time that they like stockpile it. It's great because then we can have an awesome summer. People like crew, Michelle and Daniel love it because then they're able to go snowboarding. If we can just get the rain to stay here, I will be happy camper. I have to tell you, I started my morning out going downstairs in the merch room and filling all of your orders. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. You sold out of sweatshirts. So thank you. We're so grateful. We are always looking to bring new things into the shop. I'm working on some stuff for This Is How We Bring Them and Mindy's Best. You know, spring coming. Call it like it's tomorrow in a couple of months. I'm just really anxious for it. It's always exciting to add some new stuff to the shop. Time of year, as much as I know winter's here to stay for a while, just just really crave spring. So I'm just like excited about new projects and things like that. So very grateful that you are here hanging out with us, supporting our family. Thank you so much. And even going and buying the merch. You guys, it means the world to us. You will never quite fully understand how awesome it is. You guys place an order, comes to us. I go down in the basement, print out the little receipt fulfill your order, stick in the packing slip, put the label on top. It is honestly something that we appreciate so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are amazing. We have an awesome day today because we are gonna go watch my nephew. He is the manager of his basketball team and he is so sweet, so awesome, cute little Lando. So we're gonna go pick up the kids here in a minute, go head off to his game. It's gonna be really awesome. Hearing section! from Landon's game and it was the coolest thing ever. It's actually a really good game. It's a really close game and they pulled it off. They pulled off a win. Landon is the best team manager. It's so cute. There was one point where it was like super close. His team drained a three. He stood up and he ran to the wall and he's like banging on the wall, walks back to his chair, jumping up and down. His enthusiasm and his excitement for his team is so sweet. It was honestly so amazing. So much fun cheering him on. Anna Joe came, Dan and Shell came, Justin and Lindsay and Ashton and Turin were there. It was so much fun. But we just got home from that. Crew is hanging out with them tonight. So he's over at the Bingham's. They're getting him dinner. They're having Costa Vida. I don't have anything planned for dinner. Is Do that a bad Costa time? Vida? Uh, no. Why? Is this a bad time to tell you I don't have dinner planned? Normally, normally you guys have been excellent. I have been excellent at planning dinners. Not today. No. We had Maddie over for dinner last night and we were just hanging out, enjoying family and so much was going on and I forgot to ask the kids what they wanted for dinner. So we're trying to figure it out right now. We're going to come up with something good. I'm confident of it. Hazy, you know what? I was just looking at your cute smile. Why don't we show everyone your teeth? So you guys, Hazy. Why is it so? Okay, now we don't all look like Oompa Loompas. <laughs> Hazy, let me see your teeth. Hazy is still doing her expander. You guys will notice she has quite a gap right there in her it's front. It's gotten bigger, I can it tell. It is so much bigger. I can put my tongue through it and I still have room for more. I know, so right now we are turning that key two times every day until the 10th. So we are just turning, turning, turning. We are going to create like a 20% bigger space than we actually need because once she gets braces, it will close up. So you guys, we are on the countdown. She gets braces in just over a month. Like six, six weeks. weeks yeah, your mouth is changing. Gap is getting bigger. You have handled it like a champ. When we first got this, she would kind of cry, huh? Yeah, yeah it, it hurts so really strong. bad the first time. And then when you like you do it more, then it's like sometimes it I better, feel huh? like my mom didn't even do it. Because I'm so so, so slick with it, huh? Yeah, and also sometimes I'll hold her hand and push it back. Yeah, I let you, like, control my hand, huh? Like, yeah, I'm like... Hazy controls her life. She's just got it all figured out. Yep. Yeah. 
I just came in from the front door. It has been raining all afternoon. Pretty sure at some point our house is gonna just float away. I've gotten so much rain. Just got notified of a shipment. I placed an order. Shipments are coming. I actually don't know what that top package is from Target. Did just get a shipment from Sam's Club. I actually went to Sam's Club this morning. I made an online order. Had to be picked up. Went to the wrong club. It was kind of annoying. But I also purchased some candy that couldn't be picked up in club, so it, they sent it to me. I'm starting to receive packages, but you guys, we are having the most amazing epic party this weekend, and we cannot wait. Super Bowl's this weekend. I can't decide if it's the Super Bowl or if Taylor Swift's having a party. I'm not really sure which, but we're here for both. We have had so much fun planning parties and having get-togethers at the house. We're just gonna plan the most epic weekend. Our candy jars and everything are so, so empty. I went and stocked up on all the candy, so I'll have a few more things coming. We don't stock up and do all the candy at one time very often because it's kind of expensive to buy 12 different kinds of candy. Usually you have to buy two bags of each bulk one at like Costco or Sam's because containers are pretty big. All the candy's coming, showing up. All of the Super Bowl supplies are coming and I'm so excited. I was walking down here to show you all the things I got for the Super Bowl party. I forgot to tell you that we had someone here working at the house. I'll tell you that in just a second. We're gonna have a nacho bar for the Super Bowl, so I had to go to Sam's Club today to pick up the rest of the candy. This is not all of it. And this is excessive, for sure. But we're gonna have a lot of people here this weekend. So we wanna have plenty of options, and really our candy jars are looking quite pathetic. <laughs> They're looking so pathetic. You can tell the ones that aren't the favorites. This one is usually, they take out all the pinks. So I was going to buy the favorite red, like the favorite reds, and I decided just buy pink ones. They only like the pink ones, so I'm learning. Got tons of candy because we are doing a nacho bar. I got four different kinds of chips, pistachios, we're gonna do those little hot dogs, little weenies, is that what they say? Can those that be said so on good. YouTube? They're like wrapped <laughs> wiener dogs or something. Yeah, they're so good. I also picked up, had this once before, this is pulled pork, we'll do that on top of the nachos, sour cream, salsa, all the goods. We are ready. We're gonna have a ton of fun this weekend. I probably shopped way early, but I'm like, I cannot fathom going to Costco or Sam's on a Saturday before the Super Bowl. That sounds miserable. Look at this light on my face, I'm angelic. You look angelic. Talk about the game, because that was insanity. The game was amazing. That was, was incredible. so fun. And I really think that they probably pushed it over the edge and won that game based solely on Lana's energy, because oh. that dude, like. You guys, he was filling up people's waters. Not only that, like the energy after every basket, like I was getting tired watching his enthusiasm for the game. And at one point there was this make or break three, literally I believe like changed the end of the game, because at that moment everyone went nuts, this key three pointer, and then all of a sudden they started to get ahead. Landon jumped up, got so crazy. He couldn't even like stay in the area. He ran I back, I like about slapped the wall, then yeah. ran back again. <laughs> I was like, dude, the whole crowd is feeding off of that. The place went nuts. It was so cool. It was so cool. He did such a good job. Yeah. B, I was just coming over to this portion yeah, of the house to show here, huh? all the people. What's going on in the gym? Are we making some modifications? Yeah, I decided working out for the baby. Oh, you know what it was? Remember that time I got really mad because I couldn't do like push up, so I just punched a hole in the wall with a perfect circle. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <that's laughs> Have you talked about this? Guys, we are hosting a Super Bowl party on Sunday, oh and gosh, everyone are. wants to work out while they watch the game. So we're gonna put a TV right here. No, wait, this is actually great logic. You're on the treadmill eating, watching the game. So you're just like walking with a yeah. plate of nachos. We got a really fun tray right here for your nachos. You just like eat your nachos, watch the game. Watch oh, the game. Team. Yeah. yeah, go. The Chiefs and the 49ers are playing. Wait, I or thought this was football. Taylor's team and the 49ers are playing. Who are we cheering for? Like, do we have? How about this one? Let us know. Who are we cheering for? Like, yeah. you tell us and we'll cheer for that team. I have that idea. Okay, back to this. Yeah, sorry. We're sorry. talking a lot. This is the longer version of the story. We bought this treadmill and I thought it was going to be so awesome. I would just use my iPad. I there's no need for a TV in here, so we decided not to do that. Yeah, I didn't think you were going to use your iPad. I thought that this would play stuff. That's what I thought when that we bought it. That is also part of the yeah. story. I thought it would play stuff, it doesn't. And not only does it not play stuff, I love my Nordic track, but hi everyone. You'll see there's no lip. For an iPad, there's no place to put anything. We looked up some like 3D printed ones that like lock behind here and like come over. You could do that. So Brandon, move your big head. <laughs> so if you were running on the treadmill, that's what you have to look at. Oh, wait, poor me in my home gym with a bad view of my air conditioning. I know, I feel so <laughs> slow. I'm helping So anyways, here. we had the idea, put in a TV 
TV because I've been doing these workouts on my phone. It'd be so easy to cast it to the TV while I'm working out. And we had also considered putting mirrors on this wall. So the electrician came today. He ran from this outlet. He ran an outlet up there. We had to make one small hole because there is a piece of wood in here called a fire blocker. It uh, makes it so the house doesn't so catch on fire and move blocked. upwards. Yeah. That's really cool. They have a fire blocker. That's Think of a fun catchy title right here. <laughs> house uh, can't catch fire. I don't want to play with that karma. But now you can just plug in the TV right here and tomorrow I believe they're coming to actually hang it. They've got the mount frame. We have the TV. I don't even know that. It's over there. I was sitting out on the doorstep. For like yeah, when days. I get tired, I just rest on it. Yeah, that bad boy. Same TV I have in my office. I think same size, everything. Same everything. Yeah, it's a 65 inch. So it'll go right here. We did like a 3D mocking and you know how you can like take it and say, see what it'll look like in your space. You should up, show honestly. everyone those pictures because it's I'll, so cool. I'll do that, yeah. It's really cool. You can go too big, too small. I think it's the perfect size. But I think I've been kind of cutting off here there what you've been saying. But the ideal thing is, Wait, is that when you- Wait, you cutting me off? No, <laughs> never heard of that. <laughs> I mean, cutting off, I mean, like I stopped listening, I cut <laughs> out of the company. But like, you will be able to project your workouts by just casting it to there. Cause you right now, kind of show them what you normally do. So, got the iPhone, doing a workout, they're kind of guided through videos. Sets it down right there, does your workouts, and then I see her all the time from the office, come up and go, <laughs> I so, really okay, do. Get, oh, I really do. But I mean, now, listen, you know, you're again, feeling sorry for me again, already. Can't complain. But now you'd be able to have it up there on the TV. Then if you do the mirrors behind it, you could actually see yourself doing it. Look at the TV. If you're doing the squat rack like today, I was doing sumo squats. I would like to have had a mirror. Is that what you do in a diaper? Is that a sumo squat? Yeah. <laughs> B, you had a really good workout though. You had to move these things. I moved everything. I the water cooler. That oh was my a big gosh. Deal. I'm that that oh. myself. Are you sore? Do you need to go lay down? Well, it's Monday, so I think I'm pretty good for the week. <laughs> Today was a good day. It was such a great day, you guys. It was so fun going like and cheering, supporting. It was amazing. And then, mom, the Super Bowl prep is on lock. I'm uh, so, so many treats, candies. You show all that, by the way. I haven't seen the footage from today yet. Woo! I know. It's a good place to be on Sunday. We're gonna have a smashing party. Make sure you come back. We have awesome things in store. You guys, we're so excited for what's to come. Thank you for being here every single day with us. We love you so much. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. This is really hard to open the package.